Hi, my name is Erin. This is the Wave Stick and Stitch pattern from the Chaco Stick and Stitch pack. We're going to be using a whipped back stitch. Start by bringing your needle up on the line, create a short straight stitch. Then advancing on the line a stitch's length, bring your needle up, and then push your needle back down where your previous stitch ended. And then you'll just repeat that for the entire line work of this pattern. It's very simple. This is one of the most basic, if not the most basic embroidery stitch. And then once we're finished with these back stitches, we're gonna go back and whip them. And you can do this with a, a slightly different color to just give, you know, slight color variation, or you can choose a contrasting color, in which case you're gonna get like a, um, kind of like a candy cane swirl strip thing going on. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit just taking forever to get that needle up through there. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Um, there's not going to be any surprises. This is just a, a back stitch. It's as basic as it gets. Once you're finished with the back stitch, we're going to whip each stitch. You'll start by bringing your needle up on the end, whichever end you prefer, and then feed your needle under the first stitch. And like I said before, you could do this with the same color, slightly different color, contrasting color, but you're just feeding your needle under each stitch. And this is going to spiral that thread around each back stitch. I like to use the tip of my, or the, I'm sorry, the eye of my needle for this. Um, the blunter tip is better, in my opinion, because it doesn't split the stitches. It doesn't get caught on the fabric. All right, this is where it's going to get a little tricky. So you're going to push your needle down because when you have these hard angles like this, 
You don't want to just go into the next stitch. You're going to want to end the whip by pushing your needle down through the fabric. And then you're going to bring your needle up through the fabric, but you want to be careful not to bring it up through the same hole that you just went down in, or it's, it's just going to undo that previous stitch. You need a couple fibers of fabric between those stitches so that you're not undoing the previous stitch. I hope that makes sense. And so you're just going to keep on going and whipping each back stitch wrapping your working thread around your back stitches. This looks really cool when um, <laughs> there's a color variation. On video, I'm not seeing the color variation as much as I would have liked to. I apologize for that. Um, it's just another shade of blue. I think this would look really cool in like a dark blue and a white blue. And, I'm sorry, a dark blue and a white. Anyway, I think it's cute. And another thing that the back uh, the whipped back stitch does is it smooths out stitches. So if you're getting that kind of like blocky um, curves and stuff because of those back stitches, the whipped back stitch smooths everything out and gives you nice curves. It's really great for cursive lettering, monoline cursive lettering. Um, I really like this stitch. It's great for stems. I really like using it for candy cane lettering during the holidays. I sped this up a little bit because, you know, you get it. You just whip each stitch. 